Hello learners, this is Habiba with Excel with me. If you like the video, please do like, share, subscribe and comment below. Let's start today's class that is Pedagogy of Social Sciences with the topic School Curriculum and Resources in Social Sciences with the subtopic Moving from Textbook to Teaching Learning Materials that is Going Beyond Textbook. Introduction. Learning means using it for a wide variety of purposes. Learning is best when attention is focused on meaning, not on form. Till now we were discussing in this topic school curriculum in social studies also, in general also, what is learning, what kind of learning should be there in the schools. We have learnt about subject-centered and uh, teacher centered, behaviorist centered, curriculum centered and also constructivist centered classroom curriculum. So what does all these recommend about? Earlier totally concentrated on subject but later on they are, they are concentrating on learner that is learner is the main important person here. That is learner centered everything. Why? Because for, for usefulness of wide varieties of purposes. Best attention focused on meaning not on form. That is interaction, discussion and sharing of ideas among learner, learners provide opportunities that elicit real information about them and their experiences and opinions. Obviously, when the children enter into the school, leaving their home atmosphere, they think that this is a new place, how they are going to mingle with each other because different persons with different opinions and experiences will come together. They will share among themselves, they interact, they learn new things, they discuss, they share their ideas and then also provide opportunity to bring the real information of their experiences and opinions already which is there in their mind. And then encourage learners to work in pairs and small groups and let them go beyond the textbook by providing a variety of inputs for spontaneous and natural learning. In National Curriculum Framework 2005, already some guidelines are given which we have discussed already. How should be the learning atmosphere? It should be knowledge centered, that is learner centered, construction of knowledge and going beyond the textbook, no rote learning. Learner should understand how to acquire and adjust in the new situations and acquire the information properly so that it will be useful in future. All the, uh, all the learners should be encouraged Maybe they can form small groups or they can sit in pairs also. They can discuss about the topics and content so that thoroughly they understand the concept, not just mugging up the things. That is going beyond the textbook. That means variety of inputs should be provided. Natural learning should be created for the learners. Build on the exercises given in the textbook and design more tasks or activities in keeping with learners' interests, needs and surroundings. Also in co continuous comprehensive evaluation in formative assessments, generally they give open textbook, new ideas, new activities, role plays, dramas and also uh, scrapbook maintenance, making projects and different uh, learning discussions, group discussions and number of activities should be provided that too according to the interest of the learners and needs also. Proper environment should be created to go beyond the textbook. Even they can build things from the exercises also. Now what exactly learning beyond textbooks? Let's understand here. Is it, is it possible to move away from the textbook culture? This is a big question arises. No, we cannot totally ignore textbook. 
टेक्स्ट बुक शुड बी शुड बी द सपोर्टिंग मटीरियल फॉर द लर्नर्स सो दैट दे कैन हैव सम गाइडलाइंस दैट विच डायरेक्शन दे हैव टू गो एन सी एफ टू थाउजेंड फाइव हैज सजेस्टेड दैट द करिकुलम बी कंटेक्चुअलाइज एंड लोकल नॉलेज बी रेकग्नाइज दैट्स वॉट local knowledge in the previous class we understood what is the important of localization of the content ncf also gives the same guideline that they suggested in the curriculum contextualization and local knowledge should be recognized and then ncert textbooks have followed this suggestion their textbooks give a lot of scope for observation survey prediction understanding of local context etc which is very important for the learners to know about their regions now what is possible to start with teachers can encourage observation based on the lessons in the textbooks obviously teachers and the learners these two are the main important uh, role players in this educational system so teachers can encourage them to observe the things that is going beyond the textbook not just sticking to the pictures given in the textbook they should have the real life situations and learn naturally also then small assignments which involve at least week long observation can be included like observing clouds flowering of plants ant colonies bee hives kinds of vehicles on the road road signs on the way to school spices in the food and so on and number of examples are there in which learners can have real life situations and learn going beyond the textbook not just seeing the pictures or the images of the things naturally they can see see the things and learn and grasp the things very easily there should be space for sharing the observations made obviously they should share among their, themselves also whatever observations they have made come back to the class and teacher should provide the opportunity to make them pairs maybe small groups let them have the discussions and come out with the solutions and the new learning outcomes also the students can be asked to present their observation in the form of drawing writing or through charts also this is the best way of expressing their learning experiences children love arts drawing painting so through this also they can encourage these teachers can encourage the students to construct the knowledge the teacher will have to budget time for such activities in his or her lesson plans obviously in any time they cannot start giving the activities they should properly plan out sketch out the things when to have the activities and to which topic they can go beyond the textbook and learn the things natural naturally that is very important planning is very important <clears throat> excuse me exhibitions or fairs which involve observation survey etc should be encouraged nowadays we have in schools so many exhibitions are conducted in which learners participate very enthusiastically so that they can learn very easily with lots of teaching learning material real life situations and things and all then such studies always kindle curiosity and questioning yes when they are performing some activities their mind will work sharply and they will have some questioning ability when there is questioning ability that means some learning is happening we should understand the students can also present their small observation studies in the school assembly or on the notice boards then other forums for presentation like the school website <coughs> excuse me writing a small article for the local newspaper about their study creating a school newsletter with the children's work can also be explored now different forms are there to present like creating their own websites writing articles having their own newsletters writing their own stories whatever they predict everything they can encourage in whatever way so that learning can happen and they can explore their own abilities also
then recognition of students work motivates them and in turn helps build their confidence yes when the teachers encourage the students and also family atmosphere also should be such that the parents should encourage the students to learn new things and they more they get motivated and they have their they build their own confidence level also in a high manner now let's conclude this topic limiting teaching learning to reading of the textbooks and answering the questions given in the exercise to pass the examination narrows the wider aim of education which is to nurture the potential of each child to the fullest and not stifle him or her to the confines of the textbook it can only be accomplished if children experience joy of learning through education teaching learning is not limited to just reading the textbook and uh, answering the questions given at the end of the examination or exercise this is not proper teaching learning not preparing the students for the examination just it will narrow the wider aim of education what is the wider aim of education nurture the potentiality of the of each child to the fullest that is all round development should be there they should not be confined to just to the textbooks it can only be accomplished when children experience joy of learning through education thus it is the main thing we should concentrate upon you may find it difficult to cater to the needs of all students with distinct learning styles and varied learning abilities yes any task some difficulties will come to overcome those difficulties many solutions also will be there that then only we will reach to the aim or objective or goals and succeed in life so each difficulty might be created but solutions also are there for each difficulty so a common teaching strategy let alone a common textbook for all students would obviously not work in such a situation this will require one to go beyond the textbook all the learners are different we cannot give same thing every time to the students according to the time upgradation of the curriculum also important and going beyond the textbook that should be the ultimate aim of any educational institution or the curriculum framework us so we come to the end sorry still some points are there let's complete them also it demands teachers to adopt pedagogical choices that suit the needs and capabilities of the diverse student community obviously students are diverse not alike so according to the needs of the cap and capabilities the methods of teachings also should be there that means methods which the teachers are using should be unique to the diversified learners the teachers need to be innovative and resourceful to adapt or create learning situation suitable to the children's needs and context yes innovative teachers resources should be available they should create such a learning situation that it should suit to the all children's needs and context above all the teacher should be a reflective practitioner who understands how to bridge the gap between preaching and practice yes the teacher should be the best example to the students not just preaching in practice also they should bring everything what should be the main aim or objective of the teacher best learning of the children or students who come to the school that is teacher should reflect all the things what are the positive things what are the negative things how i can improve myself to bring best to the students that should be the main aim of each and every teacher now we come to the end of this session if you like the video please do like share subscribe and comment below happy learning